Each day, the world population creates a variety of waste materials that are discarded and must be disposed of in some manner. Historically, these unused waste materials have been buried in landfills. Identifying options to municipal solid waste landfills has become a priority as the number of landfills decrease and total disposal costs increase. As environmental regulations and strict sanctions have been applied to landfills, solid waste managers have been forced to seek methods to reduce volumes and cut disposal costs. Waste Reduction Technologies Incorporated, WRT, offers an option to landfilling. In the WRT process, the commingled curbside waste is collected and delivered to the processing site where it can be loaded directly into the WRT system. The unseparated waste is fed by conveyor into the WRT processing vessel. Once inside the vessel, bags are broken and materials are mixed by means of an internal helix which also exposes the waste evenly to the process. With the vessel filled to capacity, the door is closed and sealed. Steam, generated by a standard boiler, is introduced through a rotary valve in the rear of the vessel. When the operating pressure and temperature are reached, the steam input is regulated to maintain pressure for the required time. During the processing time, the cellulosic waste becomes homogenized by even steam saturation and the pulping action of the rotating vessel. At the end of the prescribed time, the vessel is depressurized and the steam is recovered for use as boiler feed water. The door is removed, the vessel rotation is reversed, and the material is expelled by the internal helix. The change in the process waste is quite evident. The volume has been reduced by 60% or more, and the cellulosic materials have been broken down into pulp low in moisture. The processed material is discharged onto a conveyor that moves it into a rotary trommel for screening. The sterile pulped cellulose easily facilitates separation from the non-cellulose components. After the commingled material is moved into the trommel for screening, the pulp falls through the rotating screen onto a conveyor. The materials at this stage are sterile, eliminating health hazards associated with raw garbage. The cellulosic material represents 65% of the original waste processed and has numerous potential end uses, including feedstock for engineered alternative fuels. The material not passing through the screen exit the rotary trommel onto a conveyor for separation. The clean non-ferrous and ferrous metals and plastics are easily separated and recovered for recycling markets. Other plastics are recovered as combined agglomerates suitable for the production of extruded and molded mixed plastic products. As shown, the cellulose yard waste and the paper products are evenly pulped. Plastic is reduced in volume, delabeled and collapsed. Aluminum cans are collapsed and delacquered. Glass becomes shattered, delabeled and cleaned. Plastic bags, labels and other low density plastics are agglomerated. Ferrous cans are delabeled and cleaned. All of the waste that passes through the WRT process, typically 15% or less, ends up going to the landfill, while 85% or more can be recovered for beneficial reuse. WRT equipment is modular and can be designed to handle various volumes. WRT offers an option to landfills.